new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so i want to just give a quick shout out to uh sophie wang uh who originally did the video and as you can clearly see it listed directly in front of you she stated that her omega video that you are about to see was deleted by tiktok because tiktok happens to um do these types of things whenever you want to point out and showcase the racism that is prevalent and that is ongoing within this country and i'm also using this video as to showcase the real perpetrators of this um Asian hate, of this Asian discrimination, of this Asian bigotry when it comes to the United States of America, because for about quite some time, it has been reported, right, that it has been Black people that are the only ones and the main ones doing this to the Asian community. And that has been by stated by way of social media and by mainstream media. So let's look at this video. Hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. You need to address, well, first of all, no, I don't think America is a racist country. Hey guys, um, look, I just wanted to tap in really quick. I just got this feeling, man, um, that this summer is, uh, it's about to be a white boy summer. All right, y'all, so I've been going on Meagle for like the past week or so, trying to find new friends to vibe with, but I've also found a lot of who's on here. So, I decided to film some of them. You're the one that ate the bat. I knew I knew you from somewhere. Yeah, hey, show us your boobs, Hey, what's up, Ling Ling? <laughs> show me take you to Din Din. Hello? Hello? You show me Oh, fam. Fuck you, you, you made coronavirus. I hate you. You know, I can't wait till America sends mad new commissions to China, Japan, all of Asia, pretty much. They're going to literally eliminate everyone with eyeballs like this. Everyone who looks like this is going to be disintegrated by nuclear substance. There will be no more of your kind. Girl, like, share that. <gasps> Are you the one who ate the bat? Have blacks been pitted against Asians? We need the black community to realize that that black people are hurting Asians and they need to speak out of, uh, in their own community. Our communities are not reporting these incidences. We don't want to cause more trouble, more attention to our community. It strikes me that this is the Asian equivalent of the talk that African-American parents often have to have with their children. As we were clearly able to see in a video, it wasn't black people that did it. It was the European descendants. It was the conquistadors and, you know, the explorers, right? The descendants of, you know, a lot of those people, um, the descendants of the pilgrims and so on and so on, right? You know, like I said before, these, these are things that are taught directly by way of a lot of the true Americans through their school systems, their jobs, their books, their uh, media, mainstream media um by way of the elders and other adults in the community these types of thoughts are allowed these are the same types of individuals who stir up a lot of the hate bigotry and discrimination against the asian community they've been doing it since they were able to do it like i said if you don't believe me go back and look at some old pictures from the the 60s 50s 40s and so on when they would have signs up there stating that they did not want asian americans in their communities that they would not sell housing to asian um americans like i said these were the same individuals that had asian americans in uh camps when you know whenever a war or a disagreement would basically break out in between you know those the, the two countries right so you know like i said before where are the black people in this video where are the young black guys right where are the young black girls 
in this video that you know are trying to push this type of hatred towards the you know asian community because i don't see them i don't see them at all they stated some of the most stereotypical ridiculous things that i have ever basically heard i've of course heard you know other things and worse um on online games but at least for this video this you know that's bad like i said before um to the asian community is yo y'all gotta be honest stop going with the media's narrative stop trying to you know cash in on that money like i said you guys ended up getting money uh i think it was like 30 30 to 50 million dollars for uh community areas and whatnot around the united states that specifically deal with the asian community to help you guys build up infrastructures and different things like that and then on top of that you guys are able to get a lot of laws you know passed um that will protect you guys um against hate and a variety of other things and remember you had a lot of black people even though i i would 100 disagreed uh with what it is that they were doing right and i disagreed with it on the fact that the same people that advocated for the asian community they would never have or do that same exact thing for the black community and the black community has had the utmost discrimination bigotry um and hate you know pushed and delivered directly to their doorsteps since the inception of the united states as we know it um at this point in time so like i said that's why i disagreed with you know black people basically doing it because as we can clearly see um i don't see the asian community trying to return the favor and be like all right so we have some black people that were with us now we're going to help you guys get some laws passed and we're going to help you guys get some money towards your don't see any of that happening after all of that money and those laws are basically passed the asian community was completely quiet just like how the asian community is completely quiet on what happened um directly in this video and note TikTok was the one that originally took down her video and she was showcasing uh what was being said to her and it's amazing that you would have a entity such as that that would decide to take down a teaching moment an educational moment but you know like i said before you have a lot of individuals that are on TikTok, and um you know if they want to take a video down it's it's not that difficult for them to actually get it taken down but you know like i said before um to the young woman who was you know in the video um uh, you know much love and appreciation for you who uh, uh miss sophia wang uh much love and appreciation to you uh for going out there and doing that for using the platform that you have to basically showcase uh the bigotry the racism and discrimination that um you had to face just for the simple fact that you wanted to go out there and find um some people to vibe with but obviously that didn't happen and you ended up running into racists you ended up running into true americans like i said where is the asian community in defense for this young woman here where is all of the social justice warriors the black ones for you know advocating for this young woman here like i said silence and that's what i'm talking about you know games have been played and um they show their hand clearly because at the end of the day it's like you know people really didn't care it was just about the money and that's it and also before i forget i just want to remind a lot of the people in the asian community that these are the people that you know quite a bit of you look up to these are the people that you want to be side by side with that you want to um, be just like that you idolize that you bleach your skin for um these are a lot of the people that in a sense mock your culture the way that you look uh, they you know mock your language you know they do everything possible to in a sense demonize you uh, and, and, and to also put you in a negative light but yet these are the exact same people that you want to be like all right i guess but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video asian americans have weaponized our proximity to whiteness in order to murder black people George Floyd and Latasha Harlins should be here today, but they aren't because of our individual actions and our collective inaction. We can't just blame white people for pitting us against each other either, because the fact of the matter is, is that 
Asian cultures have a huge colorism problem and a huge problem with black people.